Throw it up. Harlan Obioha will jump it up with Max Allen of Marist. Here's Randy Tucker, and he had it tipped away. Henderson's got it. The diminutive guard slices to the rack and scores. Uh, it's been active early. Long pass ahead. Obioha made the catch. He's under the rim and scores, and he's fouled. He understands that's the way basketball is in 2024. You, you just got to go get guys to replace him. And there's a good one right there. He played 10 minutes a game last year, 24 minutes a game this year. So a huge step forward in his stats and his time on the court. Bayless muscles it up and in. Is the threes are been taken away, so they're trying to do that. Bayless flips it up in traffic. Allen flash posting to the middle. And it causes a turnover. Obang Mensa going in, scoops it up and scores. Available and ready. Biggest lead of the game for Marist. Obioha, nice move, scores and a foul. Henderson turns the corner to the basket, hangs in the air and scores. Five of the three with five and a half to go. Bumbleo, nice feed for Obioha, who rocks the rim. Oh, that's really good basketball by Luke Bumbleo. He just take the lead with a score. It's Bayless. He scores. Now that shot was special for Braxton Bayless. Screen from Obioha. Henderson down the lane, leaves it for Obioha, who will dunk it. All the way to the basket, missed the layup. Niagara's got it. Niagara with three seconds left, I think. And it was another foul with three seconds remaining. Execution on offense. First time we've been here for a national television game in eight years, and Niagara makes a count. 67, 62. They pull it out in the end with good execution down the stretch. The fans charge the court. Well, Greg Paulus has this program headed in the right direction. That's pretty obvious, but tonight they didn't play their best because Maris really took it to them and made a tough challenge offensively. But when they needed to make plays, they did the right thing. They got good shots and played tough defense.